be transformed by what? By the renewing of your mind. That's a training process, right? So whether we live in I can't land or poor me land or, you know, it's everybody else's fault land, we have some retraining to do up here, don't we? And when we live in it's everybody else's fault land or, you know, it's not my fault land or, you know, poor me land or I can't land. When you live in those lands and those thinking processes, you don't have a very meaningful life. You can't be happy. Everybody else is supposed to make your life happy and it's all their fault when it's not, right? So, so you have to first recognize it. Oh, that's me. And take responsibility for it. And now what do I need to do to change it? Just like, how do I train myself to eat better? How do I train myself to sleep more often, get to bed on time? How do I train myself? So this whole idea of training, um, this, is, this is what Paul says. He says in uh, Philippians 4, 8, he says, whatsoever things are good and true and right, let your mind, and he goes on, let your mind, thinking, dwell on these things. So brothers, finally, whatever you have seen and heard and learned from me, put it into practice. So what does practice mean? It's training. It's training. If you're going to practice the piano, you're going to play, right? If you're going to practice your gymnastic routine, walking on that balance beam, do you think a gymnast walks on the balance beam perfectly the first time? No, but they don't have a can. I can't. They say, I can, I will, I must learn this. So I must master this by what? Training. Training, right? Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 4, 7, I think, train yourself to be godly. It is a training regimen. Ephesians says, put off the old, put on the new. So I would just encourage you to set up some, some new habits for yourself and train yourself in an area of just one. You don't want to pick 15 areas to work on, but maybe one area. You might say, I will go to bed on a time and I will get up in the morning and spend 15 minutes in devotions. Right? Maybe that's just one area, but you're going to start doing that every day. So you're going to train yourself and you're going to develop a habit. We've done this. How many of you have habits of life that work really well for you? You get up in the morning, you brush your teeth, you put your makeup on, you take a shower, you have this little habit that you just do every single day and it makes life much simpler, right? I mean, what would it be like if you didn't have even that basic of habit, but you can develop new habits that are good habits for you of eating right or exercising or guarding your heart or training your mind to avoid, I will not put those worthless things before my eyes, but it really takes intention. I'm going to, I will, I must. And the other thing that's really helpful is to have accountability, to have that support behind you. That's why a counselor or coach or a good friend, a small support group is really crucial to, to our growth because we're not supposed to grow without that kind of community and that support. So I'd encourage you to, if you want to develop some new habits, um, that you declare them. This is what I want to do. I can work on this. I will work on this. I must work on this and then begin to develop those rituals, those training habits. So I have a ritual of what I do each morning and, um, you know, and it's not, but making my bed is a new kind of ritual that I've started to do over the last two years. And do I do it every single day? No, but having a, since I work, my office is in my bedroom, my big bedroom, and I have a little section for my office, but having a big messy bed just kind of puts me in a down mood all day. So I've got to have that bed made in order for me to feel better about my workspace. And so I've just developed that habit, but I didn't have that habit. It got made, it didn't get made. You know, it wasn't a big deal because I closed my bedroom door and I worked in a different office. But now that I'm right there all day long, it has to be made in order for me to feel good about my day. Um, and so recognize those things. And then I can learn that habit and I can make my bed every day. Okay. And develop a little ritual about how you're going to do that. What are some things you want to do every single day and begin to build that into your life. And then once those are habits, build a couple more. Studies have shown now on habits, just one small tweak in a habit, one small tweak in a routine can make a huge difference in your life. And those build new habits because you get encouraged, you get you know, strengthened, you get excited. And wow, I can do this more. Even just saying for five minutes a day, I'll exercise. If you got in a habit of five minutes a day exercising, guess what? That's going to turn into 15 minutes or 20 minutes because you know what? The first five minutes are always the hardest. And once you do the five minutes, it's always like, I can finish this. I can finish this mile. I can finish this workout routine. It's the first five minutes that are so hard. So I can, I will, and I must. Please don't let I can't ruin your life.